Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail a Compton Street legend named Turtle. Turtle was born Kenneth Johnson on July 23rd, 1958 in Louisiana, but spent much of his youth in Texas. Turtle grew up with three brothers and two sisters and grew up in a two-parent home. In September of 1972, Turtle and his family would move to Compton and move to Rose Street. Compton, South Central, Watson, Inglewood, and several other surrounding cities were beginning to have a lot of gang activity at the time, and Turtle landed in the middle of what would become the Crips and the Bloods. These two different crews would be taking neighborhoods over by storm and having a big impact on the urban youth. Turtle and his brother Whiskey would be unaware of what they came to, with Texas not having Crips, Bloods, or Pyrus at the time. So this was like a whole new world to them. Two warring clans, the Crips and the Bloods or Pyrus. The leader of the Santana Block Crips is 24, a drug peddler. He's been a gang member since he was 14. Kenneth Johnson, known as Turtle. How I started, I had just moved to California. And uh, I was going to Roosevelt Junior High School. And uh, a lot of blood just come up to the school and run them everybody home. You know, and I used to wonder, you know, what's happening? What they running everybody home for? Well, it's skating ring, partner. So, you know, I used to wonder what they running for. What's Crip? What's Pyro? So I go home. My buddies used to, you know, ask me what I'm doing coming from that way. You a Pyro? I say, no, nah, man. And I get stopped on the other side of the street. They, they ask me, is I'm a Crip? And I say, no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. So I was in the, you know, in the blind. I didn't know what was what. Until a couple of guys told me, you know, Pyro's over there. You know, Crip's over here, you know? So I say, is that right? What's that? They say a gang, a street gang. You know, so me and my little brother, you we didn't know, you know, we didn't know nothing. You know, we knew. So uh, after a while, you know, we got to going along, you know, getting used to it. You know, so we started being in the street gang too. Crips, Crip. You know, I started doing what the Crip was. Even though Turtle grew up in a middle class family, with his parents being business owners and also strict parents. He was still infatuated with the streets. No matter how much Turtle parents tried to take him away or stop him from being around gang members, he dove deeper in the streets. It got so bad, his mom would be pulling him off the streets and even beating him. His dad would try to make him work at the family business, but Turtle and his dad would never see eye to eye, and he even rebelled more. By the age of 14, Turtle was a young official member in his hood, but getting in the streets would get serious for Turtle early, with having shootouts with other members of his set off the fusion of mistaken identity. And also by this time, he started selling drugs. He also was getting cocktails thrown in his house off getting into altercations with other drug dealers. Mac Thomas, the proclaimed founder of the Grandy Compton Crips, and Duck, one of the founding members of the Old Park Boys were major figures at that time in the earlier years in Compton. Before Santana Block formed, those two gangs were the gangs in the area. In 1976, Kim Bullet Tate had a vision to bring the two gangs together and make them one as Santana Black Crips. Bullet also initiated the dress code to set Santana out from the rest of the gangs by wearing all black with black bandanas. Bullet's vision was embraced by everyone and the Santana Black Compton Crips became an official gang in Compton. But by 1978, Bullet would lose his life. It was said to be done by the Paul Rules. This took the violence to another level with the Santana blocks being ready for war and declaring war on all the Paul Rules. With Mac Thomas dying, now Bullet, those were big losses with them being such leaders. So the Santana blocks would need new leadership. Turtle was only 20 years old at the time, but he was one of the people to carry the torch and keep the Santana Black Crips name ringing bells. From what he did in the streets, Turtle built a reputation known for handling business and also being one of the smartest and most militant gang members around. He also had a charismatic personality that gained him a large following. He was viewed as a leader and well respected in his hood and his community, but he was still hated by many enemies. Turtle would be on the other side of the gun, being shot six times, but he survived. The next minute I'm running from gunshots. So the only thing I said to myself, say man, are we gonna have to start doing what they doing? You know, same thing they do to us, we do to them. That wasn't the mean, but uh, it, you had to, you know, either do or die, or stay in the house. You know, fight or stay in the house. So I wasn't going to stay in the house. When they come to the home front, that's when we use it. Yes. And when they come shoot us, 
we go back and shoot them. Hey, look, hey, man. Turtle had a businessman mindset early on. With knowledge from his dad and picking up fast in the streets, he was one of the driving forces in his game. With making moves on the streets and knowing how to handle himself in war against the power rules. Compton was crazy with death back and forth on each side. In the last two or three years, and has an equal record prior to the juvenile. I don't call myself a leader. I don't like nobody saying I got boys because I don't like that. You know, but somebody had to do the thinking, you know. And uh, I'm the only one around. Don't get high. Don't smoke dope or nothing. So I figure I can do the thinking. Somebody in there ready to drive now? French still here? Yeah. In 1983, Turtle was starring a documentary called Real Lives, Gang City. He basically talked about his introduction to his gang and what he was going through at the time in his life. He was 24 at the time of the documentary. By this time period, drugs were taken all over the communities across the world and Compton would experience the same thing. Turtle knew how to make money and that's exactly what he did. He would become a major figure in the drug trade. It was even said that Turtle was paying off the police, giving them money and drugs to stay off him and his gang. Turtle started having so much money, he started buying homes in his hood and started renting them out. He loved Compton so much, even though he had the money to leave, he wouldn't. He would even be looking out for his family and always giving back to his community. But with the money came more clout and came more recognition, and Turtle already had a lot of both. Turtle would get into cars and being flashy, and cars was one of his way to stand out having many different unique cars, and even being a part of the Majestic Car Club. But with everything going good and money flowing, Turtle would end up going to prison for a while and spent his time at San Quentin State Prison with many other notable Crips. After getting out of jail, what many would say was one of the most devastating days in Santana Block Crip history would happen. On February 28th, 1989 in Linwood, Turtle would be shot and killed now it's said of many theories of what happened. Police would say a rival gang killed Turtle, but many would say it was the police. The situation surrounding his death always sounded fishy to everybody. Turtle's death was said to be like the death of a superstar, with many people in attendance. Turtle's friends would be blocking off the streets and riding in lowriders showing out for Turtle. Turtle was so well respected, it was even said some Pyrus came to his funeral to show respect. It has been over 30 years since Turtle's death, but still to this day, he gets talked about and spoke about in legendary and elite status. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.